Welcome back to Mariah's Soapbox. Guess what? It is New Year's. Happy New Year's. Yay! Happy New Year's, guys. This year has been a supreme roller coaster. This year has had so many great moments, so many ups and downs, so much growth. I feel like I've learned so many things this year. I've learned consistency and I don't know. I just feel like 2022 has a whole new big, big, big path for me. And I feel like as I was discussing with my girl and my great girlfriends, my word of the year this year is big. But before we get into today, the topic of discussion, I want to make sure you guys have all liked, commented, and subscribed to my channel. 2022 has so many wonderful, amazing things that are in store for this channel that are in store for me. So go ahead and do that. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and click that little button right there for me, okay? But yes, today we are going to discuss the things that I have learned in 2020, which would be really quick. And then we're going to go next to the best moments of 2020 on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys. First of all, I just want to thank you guys so much for being there with me, staying there with me, being supportive, being down for me, watching all of my Vlogmas videos. You can still go finish and see the rest of them, you know, if you haven't caught up. Watch all my Vlogmas videos. I did a video every single day of Vlogmas and I feel like it taught me so many things like consistency, tenacity, um, creativity, thinking of things to post and edit every single day. So I just feel like that really helped me and I feel like it's going to help me for 2022. Okay, so the first thing I learned is timing is not always in my hands. Um, sometimes what is my plan is not always God's plan. So I may say, hey, I want this brand deal. I want this, this and that. And I want it to go like this by this date. But sometimes God is like, you know what? That's great, but I have bigger and better in store for you. So during that, your timeline is not always aligned with what is big, big, big for the year for you. So I learned not to be mad and upset when I want certain things to happen and they don't happen in my time. So kind of happy about that, that certain things didn't happen this year and kind of happy that some things did happen this year. So that has been one of the biggest things I've learned in 2021. Number two is my favorite word. If you can guess, type it in the comments before you even hear it. Number two is giving my, number three technically, is giving myself grace, give yourself grace. Sometimes, you know, we're in a place of life where we're happy where we are, but we want to be in someone else's shoes or we see someone else getting blessed or we see someone else getting this deal or this house or this engagement or this marriage or whatever. And you know what? You're like, dang, why am I not in that space yet? But that's not your time. That's not what's aligned in the universe for you. So give yourself grace. You may have done things in 2021 that you don't see befitting for yourself, but just know, hey, you did it. You can't take it back. Give yourself grace. Plan better for next year. Think better on the decisions that you make. And just understand, you know, there's a thing called grace. Forgive yourself. Move on and learn from mistakes. Share your experiences and understand that, you know what? If you share that experience, you may help someone else learn from that. So give yourself grace. Number three, comparisons are dead, y'all. Three slash four. Comparisons are dead. Like everybody wanna compare themselves this year. I've been hearing it all year. So and so, blah, blah, blah. This, this, and that. You know, got the house and the heels and the dog and the fence. Like if you compare yourself to people for 2022, you're not aligning yourself for the goals that you're supposed to have because maybe your pathway looks different maybe your youtube channel is supposed to look different maybe the brand deals you're supposed to get is different maybe your husband and the qualities that he has is going to be different too so comparisons are dead everyone's life is going to look different just because it looks different does not mean it's not still great so comparisons are definitely dead this is the most important one consistency is key consistency is in everything is key like if you want that house in the hill be consistent get to the bag find out ways to get to the bag if you ain't got the bag it's no excuse there's so many ways out here to make money there's everything in this world uber eats lift creating your own business doing e-commerce like at this point in 2021 right now on the way to 2022 if you want that thing go for it it's no excuse not to have it. i'm a firm believer in no cap no excuses nothing like you have to get to what you want to get to execute and make that plan and make it yours like it can be yours it will be yours name it claim it consistently when it comes to your youtube channel like what i'm trying to do make a video every week make a video every day for 25 days like you want to see that subscriber count you want to learn that consistency you want to see those watch hours go up put that work in you know or substitute what i said for what you're trying to do you know if that's what you want consistency is the biggest baddest thing on this earth that can help you get to what you want to go through 
So that's my little five moments that I wanted you to know what I've learned and what are essential to take um, with you to 2022. You guys are about to look at my best moments from 2021, plenty more to come. And I want to thank you guys so much. Here goes my best moments. What what waistline? What waistline? That waistline. What waistline? I don't see it. Oh, yeah, teamwork make the dream work. Okay. Hey, how you feel? Good. You look good, girl. You look good. Thank you. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Oh you can be educated upon certain groups within that HBCU because we're it's all not so alike. Much, it's so much. People think HBCUs lack diversity, <laughs> but that's the thing. HBCUs are so diverse. Um, and I feel like it's more sort of like, so like a journey of self discovery and like awakening, an awakening within yourself. Because sometimes, you know, that big old meme, like, would you date yourself? And people have been saying, yeah, girl, I would date myself and I would have a box of like roses outside with a boom box. But let's really deep dig deep inside and see like, are you the person that you would really date? Like, do you really feel like you bring to the table what somebody else would want? Do you really feel like, you know, what you can bring, what you do, what you, your, your attitude, your communication, what you actually visit and bring to the table, your resume, your catalog, what you can do. Do you feel like, we're about to get your, oh, you have to take a shot. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> What are you have to take a shot for? Take a shot. Mm -hmm. Time to eat your baby's tonight. You said what? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with? That's why you're not coming on the boat. No, she just asked me. Happy birthday, my love. It's so pretty. see-through part which I love and it's super comfortable it actually has like a crisscross you have a, rather have a man that is confident or can dress confident because if you're confident no matter what you put on you'll exude it what you bring up what you say the other day soldier boy I feel like soldier boy cannot dress at all he puts on like Gucci with Fendi with Chanel, with Louis Vuitton sneakers, a do-rag, a nightcap, a nightgown, like everything he put on. He just put on whatever thing his closet don't match. But you can't tell me that Soulja Boy is not one of the most confident men in America. He is loud and wrong every time, but you can't tell me he's not confident. So if you have a man that's like Soulja Boy, you know, you should take a little bit of Hey guys, welcome back to Friends Giving. Oh, hello, so boxers, welcome to Vlogmas. I am super excited. Do y'all like my hat? It's a black Santa. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if y'all can see it. It's a black Santa. 
so cute i'm really in the mood to be mrs claus you know you know but if you have been to all right guys let's get into this hot cocoa mix Mm. So good. Okay, so here are the finished decorations. Getting to it. Getting to it. Don't stop. Just do it. Do it. So y'all gonna see. Texas, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas call me slipping ones, okay, so what? Cause I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock. So we have 1501. It's really actually cute in here for Rimbara. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute in here though. Oh wow, we got a surprise gift. Sisters, come on. Okay. What you smoking on, Tosh? fun I've had this year in 2021 on my YouTube channel with my friends and my life with my family. I just want to thank you guys so much, so, so, so much for following me, liking, commenting, subscribing, supporting, just giving me cheers, giving me ideas of what things that you want to see. And I love y'all so much for it. Like, I hope you understand I don't take any of you guys for granted at all. If you have not followed me on Instagram, make sure you follow me at Mariah's Soapbox.com for my website, Mariah's Soapbox for my Instagram, my Twitter, Facebook, every everything is Mariah's so box. But I love you guys. Happy New Year's. Make sure you set goals. Make sure you stay consistent in those goals that you set. Don't let anybody make you feel like you can't do something because you can do it. This is your year to do it. Do it, do it, do it now. Do it. <laughs> yes. Just do it, okay? Just do it. You can do it. Don't suck yourself out and believe that you're not good enough to do it. Every single one of you watching this video, you're good enough to do anything that you put your mind to. Such a cliche word, okay? But it's the realest thing I've ever heard. Anything you want to do, you can put your mind to it. But thank you for watching this video. I love y'all so much. Happy New Year's. I love the mountains.